Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of Dark Souls. Well, today I had planned some Overwatch content, but sadly I got some eerie IRL, real life issues, uh, things that kept me busy and I could not do what I wanted to do. Anyhow, where were we yesterday? Ah yes. Today is the day we go and defeat the Deacons of the Deep. And it's time to, it's about time we advance. Let's use this. And the reason I keep umbering uh, is because there's gonna be eventually some summons. And I want to make certain to summon them. So. I am trying to uh, think of something that I did not do. And no, not really. I've done almost everything there is to do in the Deacon or in the Cathedral of the Deep. Of course, there are probably some things that I've already left behind that I did not do. But nevertheless, I think we are good to go. Got the two giants, yeah, everything seems to be peachy. Uh, last time we got killed by a two-handed knight over there. It's been a while since I last fought one of these fellas and uh, they get in the better of me, which is to be expected. That guy relentlessly attacks, it doesn't wait for you and everything. So you need to, to kind of dodge his attacks and wait for the good opportunity to kill him. Was this worm thing slug a clue that there are stuff above me that I need to take care of? Or was it just there as an enemy placement? I don't know. Kind of weird, to be honest. So, um... There's another knight, by the way, but that's uh, his uh, kind of asleep. All right, never mind. I thought I was gonna just fight that fellow, but it appears that we need to fight these guys first. That's no problem. That's one lad. And the other one coming. Just walk away from him. His fireballs. Come on. Ow! Dude! That was cheap. 15k? Damn. This is troublesome. I would like to backstab. Thank you for letting me backstab. And of course followed by a heavy attack. There we go. Uh, not perfect, but good enough. These are too fascinated by this cracked altar. I wonder what that statue covered up is interested in it. Uh, they're praying and uh, I learned that suffering. There you go. See you later, alligators. <laughs> anyway, there was something here I can't remember. A shortcut maybe? Hmm, there's an elevator, I know. There it is. But an elevator to where? Let me remember. An elevator to... Oh, up here. Cool. Oh yes. So, we got an ultimate shortcut. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. Now, this fight isn't, you know, problematic. It's a bit tough if you don't know how to tackle it, but overall, it's an easy one. 
and these summons are Horus, the Hushant, okay, and Henri. Wait for the uh, other phantom to come first before we can summon her. But yeah, I'm gonna summon them because it's uh, she, it's in her quest. Horus is just following Henri, and it's in their quest or in her quest is to come here and see if Aldrich is here because she was told that Aldrich is here. But of course, we will not find Aldrich here. We will only find the Deacons of the Deep. And it's an interesting fight because it's kind of a mob. Ow. There you go. All you need to do is attack that one with the glow, like so, and you're gonna go to another one, and so on and so forth. That's all you need to do. Second part is gonna be like the church head or something who will have another servant or other servants with him that will summon some black matter, black magic and th attack on you and everything, uh, it's gonna give you some trouble, but otherwise this is the fight. This is what the fight looks like. And that is why this fight is easy and problematic at the same time. Problematic in the fact that you can get stuck between these NPCs. Stop talking, man. Dude. You can get stuck between these two NPCs, or between these mob, and Henri and Horace could be doing some horsing stuff and will not help you, and you will die. There's like explosions, there's like people attacking you with candlesticks and all sorts of unlucky matters. But you know what? Surprisingly and ironically, this is actually the first time I ever die to this boss. Which is something to be honest. I know, it's a disgrace to be <laughs> for me, but this is the first time I die to it. It never happened to me. It's alright to take damage here, I will be Ambering real soon. I'm just gonna ignore the enemies and everything, so yeah. Hopefully Mr. Knight here is not gonna follow me and I'm running short of Umbers. It doesn't. Great. Oh, is he coming? Oh yeah, he's coming. No, no, no. Okay. I see where he needs to stop. So he was not meant to follow me here. Good to know. Summon these two lads. Although, they take notice, or take note, that doing this fight without these two fellas is indefinitely going to make it easier for me. Uh, sorry, I was adjusting the microphone. If you are hearing some weird noises, sorry about that. But yeah, this fight is going to be much easier if you just do it alone. But I need to do it with these fellas. Kind of a way to advance their quest. Anyway, let's do it better this time. You know what item I need? Ah oh, yes, this. It's 
gonna help me recover more stamina. Where is it? Oh, there it is. And there you have it. It's really nothing. Calm down, Henry. They're dead. No need to be, you know, concerned about them. And we have a small doll and soul of the Deacons of the Deep. Cool. I can't believe I died to these things. <laughs> but it happened. And I got it recorded. Oh well. Soul of the Deacons of the Deep, one of the twisted souls steeped in strength. Used to acquire many souls, of course, blah blah blah. After Aldrich left for the Boreal Valley, this is our clue to where Aldrich is, our Archdeacon Royce remained in the cathedral with the high priests to keep eternal watch over their master's coughing. Uh, you see, he's one of the Lords of Cinder that we see in the cinematic. And he was awakened from this tomb right here, which is amazing, by the way. It's rare that we sit down and just admire the design of a place. But yeah, this is a great design, to be honest. It's amazing. The coffin with the priests looking down and you know it's like they are protecting the coffin and everything is amazing the dropping wax and everything uh, the arena entirely is amazingly designed both for a boss fight and for you know law purposes now i sit at this bonfire because there you have it make certain you take this guy's set. Oh yeah, I forgot about the door. It should be in the key section, because it's a key. Silverwork door, depicting, or depicting a young squire. Small silver, oh yeah, I already read that. In the legendary old city of Irithil, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home listen carefully and you can hear it say wherever you go the moon still sets in erythil wherever you may be erythil is your home 
amazing to be honest and Erythil is one of my all-time favorite areas because of the nostalgic values we'll talk about it when we reach there and the design in general and it's kind of the doll is kind of a mechanic um, put there for us to you know we it's like the, de the developer the developers needed to put something uh, in order for us to do these two areas Farron's the abyss watchers and the deacons of the deep in order to advance and if you go there and you can't go to Irithil uh, without uh, going to the deacons of the deep you can go there via the defeating the watchers of the abyss and when you reach there after <laughs> going through Diablo we'll talk about that when we reach that too um, you will reach Irithil but you cannot advance because there is a big force barrier that prevents you from doing so home, nevertheless one to I've got nothing Very to say well, let me level up level up level up as usual hmm we got two points yeah we'll max our endurance for now put it at 25 and then we'll go and do some other leveling later a bit later there's gonna be I I will have enough souls to do so so I'm not worried I don't think I have these oh but do I have money yes I do can I reinforce this weapon no twinkling titanite oh right Okay, uh, this is kind of a special weapon. Hmm, I was thinking, why can I not upgrade? I've got like a large titanite and everything, but not good enough. Since uh, I'm not gonna use that a lot, it's all right. Infuse. We still have the usual infusions: heavy, sharp, refined, raw, fire. The infusion is not gonna advance until I get more colds, which I will do so later. You can keep the ring. Nothing new from Grey Rat, obviously. Last level from. Then uh... show Hmm. What should I? Atonement? I do need some atonement. Hmm. No, let me go one point in vigor. Vigor is good, sometimes. Be safe. Especially since these points are free. I think this is gonna be either the fourth point or the last point. Meaning that he will die soon. Anything you say to me? Yeah, he basically tells us how to reach, oh yes, you guys, how to reach the Watchers of the Abyss and how to open a certain door. It's funny, the first time I didn't pay heed to what he says, but he just laid it to you. Here's how you need to do, or what you need to do, in order to reach that place. Hey, Henri, how you doing? Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Yes, we did. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. We were there together. He must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. Aldrich's honest home is Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient a pilgrim top and so. Oh, it's funny you speak of a pilgrim, because there is going to be always a pilgrim watching her, 
waiting for the right time to strike. Give divine term. Deep braille divine term. I think this is gonna be breaking her quest uh, line. So you know what? Um, I am gonna hold on and not do it. What? Oh, 12, 12 faith. Yeah, I'll go and I'll level up a bit of faith. No problem. Thank you. I'm gonna check up on her quest line first and see if given her that. I do remember that it, should I give her that tome, I, it will break her quest. Oh, again, but, uh, I don't mean in the fight. Nah, nothing. This guy sells, of course, sorceries. But this build is all about healing and not sorceries. And since healing is usually faith based, well, I would be having a bit more faith. Can I take one of these? Yes, I'll take one of these. Yeah, I shouldn't be taking these and wasting my souls, but hey, whatever. Travel. Hmm. What time is it? You know what? Before I do that, how about we just go kill the cursed rotten tree first? And then we will advance in our quest. Don't think I do have that much time to, you know, go to the Watchers of the Abyss. Did I kindle that fire? I don't remember. I think I did. I think I did not. Nevertheless, it doesn't matter. I said I will kill this tree, and killing it is what I need. Now, the first time I said that we don't really need it, but no, we actually need it because there's the old wolf sword, curved sword that we will need to acquire. Oh, wait, was that from killing Watchers of the Abyss? Or leveling up the covenant. I don't quite remember. But we'll find out soon. It's no problem. This is one of those. Again it's an amazing place. As you can see it's an amazing area. And it's one of those. That we've already seen for the first time in. The trailer. I think this, this is the one featured in. The trailer. Uh, of Dark Souls 3 and again it's an amazing area and this boss fight is great it's an alright boss fight and the how to trigger it's easy just kill one of these servants not one but some of these servants there you have it now he's angry As usual, I stop talking and enjoy the boss fight.
It's funny and ironic at the same time. This fight gave me trouble the first time I did it. So actually, as soon as I arrived at this area, I went for this boss fight. And I kind of had trouble killing him. You know, because I was not leveled up, because I was not certain of how the boss works. And I kind of panicked and I was like, okay, maybe I should do this, maybe I should do that, but not really. The boss fight is easy, as you can see. Just hit those eggs and he will die. Just like that. Even if you don't have a leveled up weapon, you can still do it. It's not a big deal. And we got Soul of the Rotted. Great wood. Uh, same thing. Ever since its establishment, all manner of curses have managed to seep into the undead settlement. The worst of them were sealed away inside of a spirit tree, but eventually the curses took their toll. So, yeah. They are trying. They were trying to divert the curse of the undead away, and there is some stones you can use in order to do that. And they were diverting all the because all you can do for curses is to pass them away. You can't get rid of them or heal them. The only thing you can do is pass them to someone or something else, and that something was this tree. Until this tree became an abomination, like we see, a monster. An old transposing killing from Courtland, or Corland, crafted with stitched crystal lizard hide. Give to Lodlith, Lord of Cinder, to conduct soul transposition. This killing can transpose twisted souls to craft special items with their concentrated essence, deemed forbidden by those unable to make proper use of it. Yeah, this is uh, the key item in order to gain the ability to craft boss weapons and special type of weapons. Weapons that require you to kill bosses and stuff. War God Wooden Shield. It's a lovely shield, but it's a wooden shield. This is the vertebra or the uh, mound makers covenant this is a really great covenant because it gives the shikage like katana in bloodborne you can infuse that katana with your own blood you can, you know you stab yourself and it gives it gets a power up and this, uh, the katana you get from the mound makers is kind of the same but in order to do so you need to deepen your covenants. So you need to do some PvP in order to do that. Anyway, that was the curse or the, the rotten wood. All we need to do now is go back to Firelink, give that killing to Mr. Lord of Cinder, Bloodleth, the dude sitting over there who did not really care about all these things. He was awakened from his slumber, and he knew his duty. He did not flee from it. He came to his altar, and is waiting his fate patiently. Anyway, this has been Yagami, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you, I would say tomorrow, but hopefully tomorrow I'll be having some Overwatch content coming to you. Anyway, have a great day, and see you when I see you.